Hello everybody, my name is Renine. Welcome back to Windcraft. In today's episode, we are going... Well, not in today's episode. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep doing that? In today's episode, after I fix my window portions, we will be traversing back to Rogni using that handy dandy nifty teleport scroll that we were given at the beginning-ish of the game. I think the king gave it to us. But I don't know, nor do I really kind of care, because it just came in handy. Kind of just gonna use it now. Anyway. Alright. That is a horrible name, uh, that person has. Alright, underwater, a pigmen ravines, Maltic. I think we'll go with the pigmen ravines first. That seems like a good choice, but in the meantime, let's go identify some stuff first. Because identifying stuff is cool. And if you remember in the last episode, we got a horse! And we're gonna find a new name for our friendly horse. Wait, let's see. Cool. That looks really nice. Ezrin's coat. And back protector. Well, these are level stupid. Mm, Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to... Hmm, Midnight Bell. Plus 7 agility, plus 7 strength. Hmm. I'm gonna sell this. Should I get rid of pants? No. Well, not these pants, but... Trade more item. Alright. Get rid of that. Legendary spear for legendary wand. Do we have something for this person? Oh my goodness, I never kept anything. Go ahead, did it. Ugh, it looks so good right now. All of these look so good right now, but I can't use them. So we're just gonna put that in there, here, there, and we'll just put the powder back where it belongs. Well, we'll get more money anyway along the way. Alright, let's go talk to the man in the pigmen ravines. It's this way, I know where to go. Come on, Boom Bun. This is so nice. Just going on a little adventure. Nice. Pigmen ravines. This massive pig ma maze-like ravine is home to the pigmen. It has species of half pig, half human abominations that feast on any weak adventurer who happens to stumble inside. And the horse became stronger. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Emerald. We like emeralds. not too bad in here. It just kind of looks bad. <laughs> Yo, my man, Thomas, what is up? <laughs> okay. 
I think we missed all the dialogue. Um... Yeah, the dialogue kind of didn't appear to us, so... I'm gonna assume it was something important about going up to the top of the ravine because of creepers or something, you know? Because that's what you do when you don't have all the information. Field spell. Teleport. Burning pants. Fire. Okay, that's good. Oh! This must be for the quest. It has green carpet, like, everywhere. Oh. Thank you, fun. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away! Help! Ah! 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 <laughs> A piece of the creeper came along with you after the last catapult, did you hear? Maybe Thomas would like to look at it. Yes, Thomas, the person that we should be listening to right now, alright. Okay, I didn't expect you to fall out of the sky like that. Are you okay, or should I get the potion merchant to heal you? You're fine? Oh, good to hear. Did you manage to get rid of the pigment and their explosives? Green creature? A creeper? No such thing exists in this world, especially with the pigment all around. Oh, you brought a piece of skin back. How odd. I've seen this skin before. There's a large cave over to the south. I tried to enter it, but got ambushed by green creatures. I thought it was just dreaming, but these creepers you talk about, maybe they live in that cave. I have an idea. I need to know for sure what they lit that they live there. The merchant can make you a mask with the skin and other material. There's a pigment overlord that sometimes hangs in a cave nearby. Okay, we're gonna continue. Overlord. Look at the pigment hide, aren't you? Fine. Fine, I guess we will. Great. This episode's turning out pretty well right now already. So Nice, it's this little area. Alright, let's go. So anyways, it started blasting. Horse horsey? Horse horsey? Okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, turn back to Thomas. Thomas the Tank and Dinkin will show us the way of making a mask out of skin and hay or something, I don't know. Uh, waterfall. This looks right. Yep, near the ravine people.
I see you have a hide. The skin will work perfectly for my plan. There is a mask merchant in this village. He can make you a mask with the two materials I have. With the mask, you can put it on to go unattached. Go undetached. Go undetected into these caves with these creepers. Only then will we know the truth. To get the creeper cave, follow the western path and turn left to the pygmy camps. Also, if you lose the mask somehow, the merchant can make you another piece. Make you another if you bring him another piece of skin and hide. Here are the materials. Be careful out there. Who knows what these green monsters can do to you. They could blow us up, maybe? I don't know. Sup. Ooh. Shiny mask. Rock mask. Black mask. Ooh. Ice mask. Metal mask. Water mask. These are gonna come in handy later, I bet. But for now, we have... Handy dandy creeper mask. But, oh well. Guess we gotta go into the land of creepers. Don't hurt my horse. Back, you beasts. Back. No one hurts Mr. Horsington on my watch. I guess we got more powder. Hey Thomas. So, what was in the cave? Were there really creepers in there? What's this? It smells like gunpowder, but more earthy. And what came from the cave? And this is from the cave? This powder is definitely not native to this area. It has to come from those creepers. I guess for now we'll leave them at peace. If they do exist, they don't need to be hunted down to extinction. Besides, if they are composed of gunpowder, they could easily blow this ravine to pieces. Thank you for your help. I guess you deserve some sort of reward. Help, considering you helped solve the ravine's big mystery. Feel free to come back to our village anytime. By then our food supply should be stable. Cool. Thanks, man. Feels good to help. Alright. Upgrade the other two some other time. And can you like not harass villagers? Alright, there we go. What's next? Unidentified leggings. Earth book. Maltics well. I think we should start with Maltics well. That sounds like it'll end well. Uh kill. That makes it easier. Alright. Alright. I'm kind of filming these as a way to upload daily. 
It's getting harder to upload daily through the week, so... What I'll do instead is just do this here. You know, record some videos on the weekends and just... post them. Maltic. The first town founded by villagers in the Wind Province. Maltic Beach, is... Maltic Beach is the site of a shipwreck that crashed upon its shores 100 years ago. Nice. Whoa, what is going on with your well, man? Hi, uh, can you explain this? Please help us! We called for Ragni Guard days ago! But humans forgot... The humans tend to forget this little village. Last week, an evil witch found refuge in our old well. Normally, this wouldn't be a problem, but she's lured my child into the well. My only child. He was born in Wynn. That makes him a Wynn citizen. Please do something. I know Maltic isn't of importance to you humans being a villager settlement, but... My son! We'll help your son, buddy. We're gonna be a good human. Let's get him out there. Uh. We'll go down this way. I guess we won't go down this way. We'll go inside. One of these tunnels must be the correct one. I mean, it has to be. Really isn't that one. It's a good wand for my level right now. Okay, there's obviously the little sparkles. Help me! Someone! The witch is being mean! I wondered when they'll send the famous Ragni guards. You'll never get me! Such bad voice acting right now. Yeah, uh, lady. We can kind of teleport, so... Okay, or we'll just parkour. Fine. <laughs> I don't know why they call me a witch. Magic is everywhere, you know. This one's father made fun of my look, so I'll turn his son into a grook. <laughs> Treat me like a witch, I'll act like one, darn it. You'll have to pass through my dastardly magical defenses to find me. Never get the spell right. Well, for now you'll guess how you'll have to get this the way, um, you fool. Turn back for now, or <laughs> or if you choose the wrong door, you'll be sent to a beast. A beast most foul, the um beast that eats Ragni guards for brunch, totally. It's any door, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I didn't think Oh, didn't think that'd fool you. You know, I'm really not that good at magic. I just like wearing pointy hats and half warts. <laughs> Maybe if the people in this village weren't so mean to me, I wouldn't have been forced to live here. <laughs> I know it's a crime, but his father and the rest of the villagers hunt me in here like I'm a rabid dog. <laughs> I wasn't really going to turn this boy into a grook. I doubt I could even <laughs> make a grown feather. I mean... What's... I what's happening to me? Uh, ignore that girl. It worked. No. It's not good at all. Alright. Just kind of one shot her like that. <gasps> you're not Bun Bun! Oh, no, you're not. Thank you for saving me from the witch. She was nice at first and made me cookies, but I want to go home now. Um, yeah. O okay. I mean, we can do that. L let's go, buddy. Up, man. Brought the bottle. Oh, my son! What happened down there? Uh, not a witch, you say? Pre preposterous! 
She wore a hat and had warts. I guess it's too late now. Thank you so much for your help. Please take this recommendation letter. I'm sure it will help you someday. Cool. Great. Let's... Let's see. What can we do? Stunning Corrupt. Rich Time Valley. Sailoros. Longo. North of Meltic. Right, let's see. Hi, my name is Amongo. I'm a resident of the Maltic Village on top of the hill. As you may know, our people came to your land years ago, and this is the ship they used. They brought lots, lots of luxurious goods with them. Most of them got lost in the wreck. But recently, a small hole is opened in the shipwreck here. It is believed that our fortune is hidden within it. Unfortunately, no one has been able to explore it. It is too deep. No creature can survive underwater that long. However, my old friend Sayer is a fisherman, and I know that he has a very special helmet. If you convince him to give you this helmet and I'll find the treasure, I'll give you a part of it. Sayer is on this boat, but the cave next to me is a quick way over is where to where he does his fishing. Be careful on the way, though. When you finally have the treasure, explore the ship and bring you back four ancient treasure. Luck. Alright, cool. Go through this to the cave. The, uh, the uh, cave. The, where we... Cool. remember this quest. I hated it well. Why are you looking at me like that? Is it because I'm small, eh? I'll have you know that I caught fish that were twice your size. Oh well, I used to be able to. Nothing's biting recently. Wait a second. Why'd you hop in my boat anyway, stranger? Aha! Yes, I still do have that old breathing helmet. You want it? You'll have to do something for me first, uh, of course. I'm sure you heard me, but the fish aren't biting right here anymore. I need to leak the living somehow. There's some fish in that cave, but it's a bit dangerous. Tell you what, I'll give you my fishing rod, and you can catch me, say, ten gudgeon me. D down there. The hell it will be yours after that. Okay, whatever. I will go to your fetch quest. Man. I need to change this, I think. It's gonna be harder to find that stupid fish thing. Um, it's like tier 2 budget meat. Oh, in here.
so hard. I'm gonna decide what I want to keep. Ah, welcome back. I need luck with the fish? Great, I'll thank you kindly. Here's your helmet. Have fun with that. Oh. Okay. There it goes. So now we gotta explore the sucker for loot. Had a junk item all the time. All this time, rather. Not enough inventory space. Uh, alright, what do we get rid of? Let's see. That we give. Let's just give a lot of health. I feel like we'd be able to. You got it! You found the treasure! That's promised, here's your part of the loot. Alright, breathing helmet, that's a quest item. I think, yeah. So, I'm gonna. Okay, so there's that. I think I'll go make bank and. The max amount of healing potions. Alright, well, 
Grave Digger, Studying the Corrupt, Mask Salesman. Alright, well, we'll just keep going. I'm almost to level 25 where we can start doing the treasure stuff. I guess the level is doesn't really matter, does it? Hmm. I think I'll just go to Rogni. Maybe switch my game version and see that. I just kind of really want to show off this one area of the game. Because it's kind of fun to, uh... It's kind of fun to show off. Alright. Emerald Trail. Or she come save me! Okay, there we go. Great. Hello. Please. Tell me what these are. Glowing one. Very fast attack speed. Oh yeah, I want that. Alright. But uh, that's kinda junk. We're just gonna keep that for later. But not we're gonna keep this for later, but not the other thing. Absolutely not. Let's see. Hey! Hey! Give me a little. Alright, let's see what this does. Oh yeah. I don't think I've ever been either way to this part. This has money in it. Oh, ancient Winnick translator. Okay, so there's the old treasure crap. Creeper powder. I guess we'll put that there too. Dark aura. Scorched root, corrupted remains. I still don't know what to do with any of these, but oh well. Alright, back to the player. Let's go. I have way too much of all this stuff. Wands and armor. Oh, well, I guess I have an extra paper mask if I ever accidentally get rid of it. Not that I ever need to keep that, but... Alright, what else do we do? Okay. Just put the... Great. There. That should be enough. Uh, might want to put... I guess you can put this as the quest item thing. Uh, I'm gonna scythe. Back protector things. Collectible item. Alright, I mean, I guess that works out so well. Huh. Alright. I might just go all the way to the area I want to go to. Wait. There's that one area I wanted to go to before. 
There's this cute little dungeon area that I wanted to show off before I start recording another thing, the real thing I wanted to get at. Okay, so near the Emerald Trail, if you go this way, or I guess straight from the Emerald Trail, you'll notice there is a little structure thing before. Maybe not that, but something kind of different. Well, if I could just find it again. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is the little elemental thing. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, nope. Emerald, thank you and please. Here it is, this little hidden gem of a mini dungeon. It's always been broken. One shot. Oh. Oh. One shot again. Oh. Uh, of course. Okay. I jump on the thing. I jump on the other thing. I jump on this. Eh. And then... Bob up. There we go. Extra loot. Paradise. Owen moccasins. Awesome bandana. Spider thing. Spy spider fang. Spider thing. Spider. Mistake? Oh. This is awkward. This is just awkward. Whoa. Why is. Okay, the cow picture is kind of freaking me out. Whoa. Alright, so here, here, here. Eh, there's an exit. We're not. <gasps> oh. My stars. I don't want all those. But I do want all of these powder thingies. <laughs> Ooh, another emerald pouch. That's gonna be handy. Fancy! Oh, 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 oh. Hi. Can you not? Thank you. First, these things scare me so bad.
of course it tried so hard and got so far in the end, it didn't even matter. Don't even try, rocks. later. Oh. Wait, there's one more case. Uh, hey! Oh, oh. There's so much more. I mean, I, I guess this does have a lot, but a lot of stuff I can't use anyway, so. Nice. Alright, um, we should get going to Nimbracked. I kind of got off track a little bit. So there's ancient Nemrak where all the bodies are. But there's new Nemrak or just Nemrak, which is where we'll go. Um, I guess a little side story for those of you who made it this far. I got a I got a haircut today. For like a little new do, I guess. My hair was really long before. It still is pretty significantly long after we cut it, but uh, I got layers, I got texturings, and all that other good stuff. Uh, the only... The only real difference is it just feels a lot more empty, I guess. Not with all, all the weight tugging me down. It's nice though. I haven't been to a salon ever since the pandemic started. My mom's usually been just cutting here, so. Kind of alone though. Most of my friends are out doing something. I think it's all for Halloween. What are y'all done tomorrow? Or whenever I post it. What'd y'all do for Halloween in general? Probably I'm gonna post this. All on the same night, though. Maybe. I think I should try to take one of these out. It's an extremely stupid idea, but you know, you never know if you'll be able to take them out one day if you don't try. It looks like I was able to- oh, I hate that one shaman dude in the group. They are all dead now, and I am great. Yes. <laughs> uh, mustard, equilibrium. That might be a good helmet. You might consider that. Epic, we made it to Nimrat. I used to play with a lot of friends on the server. <laughs> One of my good friends still we still talk, but we just don't really play on here. Um she used to call it the different names, different funny names, so then we could remember them. Even back then we couldn't say it all right. She called Deathless Delta, so 
If I ever call it Delta Airlines, uh, y'all know the joke if you even watch it. And she called Nemract Num Num. So we're a Num Num, guys. Gonna be nice. Right? Um, I guess we only have this much. I got a lot of powder just from adventuring and stuff. Let's see. Identifier. Let's say identifier. Oh, there they are. Hello. Tell me what these are worth, friend. Oh, pants. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't like this. Oh, how much health does it give, though? It doesn't give any extra, but... Air damage and walk speed. Oh, I really want that. I really want that. Okay, I'm gonna keep this helmet. I'm gonna keep that. And... I'm gonna sell these things first. Well, except for this. Of course, I can't wear it until I'm level 8. Or level 28. Let's see. Uh, glowing wand. That's fine. Alright. Let's see. There we go. So much on us right now. Now, we go to the greatest place ever. There's this guy that takes you places in the world. Ooh. Shoot, I really like that. Ooh, this looks really nice. Ugh, they're so high up, though. I'll probably just take it later on. I see Skipper. Hi, friend. Welcome to the VSS Sea Skipper from Sea Sail Enterprises. There's nothing better than Sea Sail if you're looking to travel. Just hop on the boat and buy a pass so you can get going to almost anywhere on the ocean. You can even take your pals along for free if you're in a party. I will. I will, friend. This guy is awesome. He'll tell you stories and everything, and it's really nice. Whoa, okay. Seltra. That's so cool. You can do that now. Where are you headed? Seltra, huh? Huh, oh, I'll get you there in no time. We're headed for Seltra, the heart of the ocean. Oh my gosh, where am I? It's where stranded or lost sailors tend to seek refuge at. It's best it's full of services and drunken sailors. It's also the second plus best place to listen to sailor stories. What's first? Denmark, of course. So this is your first time riding with the old sea skipper, eh? It's okay if you're a bit sea we seasick. These journeys take a little while, so I usually like to tell stories to pass time. You can learn a lot about the ocean from me, maybe you'll find out where you're going adventuring next. In the meantime, if you ever need a ride to somewhere else, you can find me at the ports of most islands. See that on the horizon? That's where we're headed. Buckle up, we're increasing the speed. Nice. It's not my first time, but it's the first time on this account, so... Founded in 970 AP after the waves calmed, this city became the bridge between Gavel and Wynn. It flourishes in trade and enjoys a safe haven for the dangers of both provinces. Cool! Thank you, man! Mm, this guy is so awesome. He's really wholesome, too. He tells, he tells nice stories, he takes you everywhere on the boat. Overall nice guy. So... Anyway. I'm gonna drop off my stuff at a bank, and then I'm gonna start recording the next episode. But this time in a version where you can actually swim, because... I'll explain why we need to actually be able to swim. 
Ooh, wait, there's objective. Buy from the market. What do I need to buy from the market? Ooh, look at that! <sighs> what is all this? Oh, I want all of this so much, but... Mm, okay. Maltic Sold Spear, Emerald Pouch. How do you... Whoa. No. Way. I want to get that? Okay. I might be cheating here, guys. But you gotta- you can't deny. Uh, that's a good investment right there. I am so getting one of those. Those are really useful. I want to be able to carry all my crap in one place. You should do it, right? Yeah. It's not cheating if you had it before. <laughs> right. Let's search. Search. Alright, so this is just for that much. Roblox that much. Converts up to emerald blocks, converts up to liquid emeralds. Oh, converts, okay. I see, I see. Great, so I think we'll just go for that. Yeah. And uh, we'll get one of these too. Just sell these. Maybe someone else will want them. Oh no. Who knows? Uh right, that'll be really helpful in the next episode where I uh <laughs> do a little strategy dance. You know what? I'll keep this open in the bank. Earth powder. Does that person need it? I mean. Alright, so. Converts to liquid emeralds. And then potions of healing. Alright, so. I'm gonna leave it here for this episode. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, etc. All that YouTube jazz, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!